What's going on, y'all? How's everybody been doing? So I was on Instagram earlier and I came across this post, which I'll probably put up here, where this uh, four-wheeler and semi got into an accident not too far from where I live. It's the next county over from where I reside. So basically what happened was they were on US 98. Now, this particular portion I'm very familiar with, it's only two lanes, one lane going north, one lane going south. So this four-wheeler, he was just impatient he just couldn't be behind the four wheeler in front of him and he decides to make an illegal pass so he was basically going north in the southbound lane he ends up hitting a semi head-on and of course the result of that is he got sent upstairs early if you get what i'm saying he got sent upstairs early as a result of his actions if you ask me i honestly i have no sympathy for him because why would you do that and i made a comment on the post saying and i'll probably put the comment up there where i basically said you know at what point do four wheelers learn at what point do they learn always in a rush to go nowhere have some patience patience is key something along those lines but I'll, again i'll post exactly what i said probably up here somewhere and most of the people in the comments of course you know agreed with what I said, because I didn't say anything wrong. And then, of course, you had a few ignorant, arrogant people trying to blame the truck. But there was one comment in particular that stuck out to me where, and I'll post this comment, but he basically said something along the lines of how he's going to intentionally break check a truck to get a check, something along those lines. And, you know, I trolled him a little bit and I let him know, like, you do realize most of these semi trucks, even the raggedy ones, have a camera in the truck. They record crystal clear. They even got it now to where some of them record all angles of the truck. So, I mean, you have to first survive that. And I think a lot of four wheelers, they get caught up in those stupid billboards that they put along there. I wish they would tear them things down. They let those billboards get to their head, but they forget the fact that you have to first survive that crash. Because, I mean, if you get hit in the back by a semi at 65, 70 plus miles an hour. I mean, I don't think the cards are in your favor of surviving that, honestly. But I mean, if you do, then you have to, you know, prove that the truck driver is wrong. And I don't know what judge or lawyer is going to cut you a check when they see that you were intentionally brake checking a semi. I don't, I personally don't know. And I know plenty of lawyers. I don't know not one that's going to say, yes, we're going to grant you a few million dollars for intentionally brake checking this semi truck. Maybe y'all know one, but I personally don't. And the sad part about it all is people have no respect for a truck. And I get it. You know, we have a bad rep for some of the things that we do. But at the end of the day, regardless of how nasty some truck drivers are, regardless of all of that, everything we get in some way, shape, or form comes from a semi truck. Everything. Everything. We all reap the benefits of semis, myself included. Everything we get. And I challenge y'all to name one thing that we don't get from a truck in some way, shape, or form. Everything we get. This phone in my hand comes from a truck. The asphalt for the roads comes from a truck. Hell, the lines, the paint, the white and yellow paint comes from a truck. The signs on the interstate comes from a truck. The hair grease for my hair comes from a truck. These AirPods, everything, the tooth, everything in some way, shape, or form comes from a truck. And I'm sure somebody's going to make the argument that's going to say, well, you know, you have the rails. We do have the rails. Yes, we have the rails. The wheels to the train, it comes from a semi-truck in some way, shape, or form. The parts to the train comes from a truck. The rails come from a truck. Well, you know, we have the planes we do. The parts of the plane comes from a truck. The seats to the plane, it comes from truck. So you get my point. Everything we have, it comes from us in some way, shape, or form. Now, people, I don't want, I'm not looking for no handout. I'm not looking for, you know, special treatment for none of that. Because at the end of the day, yes, I chose this job and I chose the stuff that comes with it. But at the end of the day, we move this country. We do. Well, you know, you have the medical professions. They can't do their job without us. 
the tools that they use, the medicine that they use to give to the patients, it comes from us. Well, you know, you have the firefighters. Where do you think the fire trucks come from? How do you think they get their fire truck? It comes from a truck. The parts inside of that truck, the fire helmet, everything, people, <laughs> everything. I could go on and on about this. But the real question that I want to know is, what is the rush? Y'all are in a rush to go nowhere. In a rush to go nowhere. I can't tell you how many times I see people weaving in and out of traffic just to end up at the same red light as me. Y'all are doing all of that just to get to your destination 30 seconds to a minute fast. Like, do y'all realize how fast you have to drive for that ETA to go down? Do y'all realize that? I don't think y'all do. And it's like, if you have to drive that fast to the point where you're driving erratic and reckless, then it sounds like somewhere you did something wrong in your planning. And it just sounds like poor time management. There's no reason to be passing people illegally. There's no reason to be going 20, 30, 40 miles over this. There's no reason for it. Now I get it. If it's an accident that happened, understandable, but it's still not justifiable to drive reckless. It's not. I drive strictly overnights. I start driving typically anywhere around eight o'clock up to 9.30. I start anywhere between there and I'm driving all the way through the night into the early morning, like maybe eight o'clock at the latest. And I can't tell you how many times I'll be in the middle of nowhere and I'll see people driving reckless. Like, where are you rushing to get to? Two or three o'clock in the morning, ain't nothing open. Except maybe the gas station. Where are you rushing to get to? It's not worth it. And truckers, y'all ain't exempt from this either. I can't tell you how many times I see semi-trucks tailgating other semi-trucks or tailgating four-wheelers. Or why? And truckers, y'all know how stupid these four-wheelers drive. Y'all know they love to brake check us. They love it. They love doing it. Why they do it is beyond me, but... Knowing all these things, and y'all still decide to do it, I see truckers flying, going 80 or better. For what? You know, unless you're, you know, a cattle hauler. Why are y'all driving like that? Y'all got to do better. That's all I'm going to say. Y'all got to do better because it's, it's insane.